Um, Barca teaches youth how to be great human beings. They really do as part of their um, uh, concept at, at their um, youth training academy. So what I'm wondering about is what are some of the ways that coaches can help to build those great human values in their players? Right, right. right. That's, That's a great, great question. question. Um, um, I think, I think coaches, coaches or anybody, anybody in the teaching profession, profession or, or, or position of leadership have a great responsibility. responsibility. So, so whether they, they like it or not, not what, what they're, they're doing is they're shepherding, shepherding people into adulthood. And uh, ideally that's responsible adulthood. adulthood. And, and I, I think, think Barcelona, Barcelona has been so successful because all of their La Masia graduates are cut from the same mold. They're character guys. Guys who have been formed a certain way and consequently they carry those qualities with them onto the field. So, so personal, personal integrity, integrity responsibility, responsibility, work ethic, uh, other centric, humility, courage, courage cheerfulness, cheerfulness self-control. Self you watch a Barcelona, Barcelona game, this is what you see on the field. field. And, and they, they turn, turn it into an art form uh, of, of intricate passing and running and, and working, working back in uh, each, each man playing for the other. other. So, so uh, by, by the same, same token, token, if you think about it, these qualities are the qualities of a good person. You know, someone that we define as having a good character, you know, a good man, a good husband, a good father, a good employee. Uh, I'm speaking from the male side because I'm a man and I work with boys, and this is what we teach, but I see that this is what Barcelona does. So I think the more coaches can understand that their role goes so much further than teaching the X's and O's, uh, though that's important, uh, I think the better, better off they and their players will be. Uh, but, but most, most importantly, or just as important as everything I said, I think coaches, coaches have to have live it. it. You know, you know they, they have, have to be willing to do the work themselves. They have to be willing to engage in self-reflection and, and be, as we say here at TAP, uh, a mentor at all times. Because if you are trying to teach your players one thing, but then off the field or away from the locker room, uh, your life is a train wreck and you're not doing anything about it, uh, then you're not teaching from an authentic place and, and players and, and people can sense that. You know, so it, it, it just it weakens your authority and your ability to teach and help these people become better people, better men, better women, better players. Mm, that's a great answer. What are some of the virtues you think that you should have on the playing field? Uh, there's, there's so many. So many. Um, but, but I would say, if, if I could narrow, narrow, I would narrow it down, down to three. three. I, would I would say, say prudence. Uh, and prudence, uh, as, as I said before, before defined it as sound judgment. judgment. And, and it means learning from an experience and then learning what, what to expect in the future. future. Uh, uh, having the ability to predict and then in turn to act accordingly to what the situation calls for. So, so a prudent, prudent player, player, you know, develops develop the ability to read the game. game. They, they know, know what the defender's tendencies are. are. They know uh, which, which way a guy's going to go left or right based on what he did before. Unless that player is getting messy, then you have no idea what he's going to do. But, you know, they also have, you know, they have a feel for what they need to do off the field in order to improve on it. You know, I think that's just as important. You know, we see, we watch Barcelona play, we see 90, 95 minutes of the finished product. product. But what, what we, we don't, don't see, uh, I've never seen, seen is the countless, countless hours they put Monday through Friday or Tuesday through Friday or whatever, whatever their training schedule is uh, to get to, get to that point. point. So, so I think prudence and having sound judgment and being able to learn from experiences and, and choose what's best is, is key. Um, and then the other two are connected. And I say fortitude and, and magnanimity, which is a tough word for me to pronounce. Uh, fortitude is courage. You know, you know, or uh, there's, there's a great, great school here in the D.C. area called KIPP, which stands for knowledge. knowledge. Knowledge is power of program, and they use the word grit. You know, you and know, in fact, I like, I like that word better. Grit and magnanimity. And magnanimity. So, so very, very, for example, very, very few people, people will say that they have, have fun running, running hills or wind sprints. You know, you know when, when I was in college, college we had to do what's called the Cooper test. You run two miles in 12 minutes. And I remember one guy, there was one guy who actually passed me who was... Running, running, passing, passing people, people as, as he was throwing, throwing up, up. Not, not just throwing, throwing up, but driving people. Wow. Uh, so, so, I mean, that, that is grit, grit you know. Um, I don't think, think he was in the best shape, shape but, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's grit. grit. But like, like I said, I, I, don't I don't think people have fun doing that stuff. Not too many people. But I think every player who has given his all and who has achieved, you know, or reached a certain level will tell you that what kept them going was that glorious vision, you know, the fruit of their hard work. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, that, that, that would come, come with, with all the work they put into it. You know, you know Muhammad Ali has this great quote, uh, which says something, something like, I hate, it's actually my screensaver on my, on my uh, computer, I hated every moment of training, uh, but I told myself, suffer now and live the rest of your life like a champion. Uh, you know, so I think 
it's a combination of fortitude, being able to power through those tough moments, and then being magnanimous, which means having that vision for greatness. Uh, and I think if players are able to power through with those virtues, um, you know, the rewards are great. It could be external, it could be trophies, you know, it could be a scholarship, it could be, you know, making the national team or that club team that you really want to play for. But I think even better than that is the internal reward. You know, it's just that that joy, that internal joy that comes only from knowing that you gave your all regardless of what the consequences are.